photographers are demon-like in appearance and attitude, and they don't exactly belong in our world. I notice a lot of them hang out near lakes. It's to cool off the demon heat that burns inside like an inferno. It doesn't mean if five of them showed me their photos, I'd refuse some guidance towards them. Yeah, I wouldn't. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So if you want to be on the show, email your one photo to cameraconspiracies at disciples.com. Tell me what you shot on, give me a social media link, and I will consider shouting you out. And I will improve your photo because it will likely suck. Judging by the five episodes we've already done, we've had like two nice photos maybe. That's reaching. There was one really good one, and then everything's been downhill fast. And yes, it's going to take years to get to your photos. I have like 90 unread emails, and I haven't even checked cameraconspiracies at disciples.com yet. That's probably got 300, and we're doing five per show, one a week. So like in 12 years, you'll get on the show. Okay, we got a fire. We got a scene. You captured an interesting thing. I wouldn't say this is like a photograph art. It's just like, I saw something cool. I snapped it with a G85 for some reason and a penny boy 100 to 300, the most budget lens ever made. Doesn't look like it's at either of those focal lengths. So I don't know what the hell you shot this on. Most likely at freaking 25 mil, 21.7, not even the good one. Unlike the one I took that day, where there was actually a source of the fire. See, in your shot, it was a mystery who started the fire. We know it's just an old man barbecuing some duck legs, and that actually scared off the duck and his family, because they were like, uh-oh, he's cooking duck? That? I don't feel safe here, so let's leave. And the giant ducks took off. And they left and the old man starting such a huge fire for a little tiny meal. I was like, why? Why so much? But thank you, Jacob, with the Fred Meyer beanie. And no social media links whatsoever for your snapshot of an event that you had nothing to do with. Yeah. Okay, we got another Mr. Creative with the shutter speed. I stood here. There was traffic lights. Oh my god, it looks like ghost lights and a train, oh, and I got the clock at the top. Look at the clock, and there's people on the right, and they're in the shadows, because I didn't properly expose, because I had to blur the lines. Your shot's bullshit. There's nothing interesting in it. The technique's been done a million times with more creativity than this. It's one of the worst shots of our time, a D7100. Isn't that a Nikon DSLR APS-C? Let me guess, the kit lens took this shot? Wouldn't surprise me. When I was there, I had a better camera and a robber wanted it. And I was like, you do realize Batman's right behind you. He's on the tower. If you would just turn around, you would see you're already defeated. Can't we just work together here? So like, I wasn't even nervous. When Batman's there, and he's looking down, there's a robber, he's gonna help me. And no, he did not take my Sony X3000, because he knew he wouldn't deserve it. That's the truth. Oh boy, we got a Tone Addict. What is this? What even is this? Your subject is just darkened in the shade, it looks like just little elf statues. It's the most boring shot I've ever seen. If it was like a talking head video or something, and you're talking and that's your background, I'd be like, oh, it's kind of cool. I'm looking, I'm seeing cat's eye tunnels. Frickin', you stopped it down slightly. I can see the hexagonals and the bokeh balls. Your subject, where is it? Paul Slathug, you slath hug. No one would hug you. This is the worst shot of our time. They're just getting worse and worse as we go. I thought you guys were professionals and I was the moron who only does YouTube. Look at this guy, he's trying to tell us what to do and then this is the shit you're gonna send my way. 
What even is this? Get a light bulb or something. Even one of your lamps in the living room to light your subject at least. It reminds me of a shot I took last December when I was invited over to the Northrop's house to bury the hatchet. They were like, you know that ton of thing? It's fine. We can talk about it. We'll work something out. We forgive you. And I was like, okay, I'll come over. Maybe I'll take a picture of you guys. I'm a, I'm a portrait photographer. Back in the day, uh, let, me, let me flatter you. So he was like, okay, I'll stand in front of my Christmas tree lights. And I was like, okay, I'll, I'll take this at 1.4, I guess. And he was like, 1.4? What do you, you're joking, right? I was like, oh, sorry, it's all I have. And he's like, let me get you a lens. And he brought me out a, a Zeiss 91 mil Tony 0.6. I was like, Tony, only one of your eyes is going to be in focus, like maybe two lashes. He was like, Take the shot, okay? I need a blurry background. I need this. You have no idea. When I was a child, I was walking, and there were things behind me I didn't want to see. People were chasing me home from school. I just wanted to be home and eat my sandwiches. And from now on, I will blur out whatever is behind me. Because I do not need that right now. So you take this shot at point six. And if you don't stop it down to point five, I will sue you. I will eat your lunch. So I took the shot. It was all right. This one eye was in focus. It's a good shot. For the love of Mary Poppins, why are you sending me these snapshot photos? You're in a museum. It's so noisy. This can't be anything more than a point and shoot that your grandmother lent you. She wouldn't even give it to you. you. There's no artistic angles. It's very clearly you just look down at an exhibit and, oh, I'll take that shot. How about you kneel down, you arthritic hip pain piece of shit? The noise. Oh, it's not even a cool looking alligator. It's like a prehistoric worm tadpole alligator. It's not even threatening. Why do you have some random woman in the shot behind, her arms just out? It's not even a normal, relaxed stance. She's like nervous. You're there. She probably peeked out and was like, oh, he's taking a photo. I'll just hide behind here. But you're not hiding at all. You couldn't wait. You, oh. oh, the composition, the colors, the noise. Hands down, the worst photo we've ever seen. At least when I was there, there was a guy trying to steal this alligator but a security guard was keeping his eye out for him and there was this drama like okay this is interesting who's gonna win this battle is is the guy gonna notice he's being watched is the security guard trained enough to take down a guy with a flashlight this guy came prepared he's in a mask he's got a flashlight who knows what other tools he has around his belt i i think he might win he might steal that alligator. It's big. I don't know how he's going to carry it. He's not the biggest robber you ever seen. But add some kind of mystique to the shot. Don't just snap and point. We've all looked down at an exhibit and it was there. Kneel down. Nobody crouched. Or maybe a top down view. That would be hard on the neck. The worst shot ever. Okay, last shot. Looks dangerous. Don't know why you're doing this. You're burning a couch in the middle of nowhere, being irresponsible. You probably had 15 beers already and you're not even getting started yet. You're promoting irresponsibility and uncouth behavior, and I do not support you. And that's too close. You're too close to the fire. It's dangerous. What if some kid replicates it and burns one of his sleeves? You gonna replace the shirt? What if it was a one-of-a-kind vintage shirt? Didn't think of that, did you? You're an ass. I think it's high time you grew up, Ross Bodden man. It's no longer a campfire with the boys. What about your family? Where's the marshmallows in the shot? Why don't you do something with your life, you potato couch freak? It's couch potato. When I was there, I was actually the one who called the fire ban. And I noticed that he was about to help you, but then little did he know that there was actually a Bigfoot in the forest. 
So you actually led an honorable fireman into like a Bigfoot cave due to your irresponsibility and he almost died. They're not trained to fight Bigfoot. Hardly any professions are. So he didn't put out the fire. He just ran. And I hope that Bigfoot had his way with you later. Because why not? Why not? You're drunk. You probably thought he looked nice. So they're only getting worse. I don't understand what's happening. I hope some professional photographers gleam in. Because eventually there's going to be a shot where I'm like, you can't even perfect that. Like the silhouette of the boys jumping. The one guy, that was... That was, he was missing the pirate ship, that's about it. But like, hot damn, I guess it's going to be a while, huh? The worst ever, photographers, you're not gaining any credibility. Wow, this is bad news. I'm going to leave you buying a Camera Conspiracies t-shirt. I would. Voigtlander, 20 mil, Tony 3.5, why not? Many reasons. Does the light look ghetto? You can tell there's just a light behind my thing it's on a laundry stand i'll leave subscribe for more videos and i'll see you later